Yo, what is up, guys? It was a bit here. Hey, no, no, no. Um, we should be drilled. Should be. Yo, what is up? It's Vodzo Beach here and welcome to another cook-up video uh, on my channel. A quick reminder, I've also started uploading my small cook-ups, uh, short videos uh, on my Instagram as well as on YouTube and they are doing pretty good. So make sure you follow me on Instagram for all the latest stuff, uh, all the info uh, about upcoming videos, that kind of things. You know, we've hit those 1K subscribers a few weeks ago and it's still like... Oh my god, it, it actually happened and I am really, really proud of myself. I am really thankful to all of you who were watching my content, who just put their time to watch these videos, they found them interesting. Today we're going to make a drill beat with an actual drill. That is right. Before we start drilling anything, uh, let's focus on the drums, because for me, uh, drill beats are mostly about those specific patterns of the drums. So without further ado, let's try to make one. Let's just tap a tempo for this beat, 145 BPM. One of the things I like the most about the snares in the drill beats are those snare rolls that, that are going from some quiet snare to some louder snare, it's like a I made this uh, volume slide right here, so they are going from the quieter to a louder one. Now I will record the rest of the drums with those crazy hi hats like. Yeah, that kind of drums I was thinking of, definitely. Actually, the beat I'm making today uh, is for a bilingual rapper who lives in Great Britain, but he's from Poland. His name is Hedo Jack in a Box, uh, and make sure you check him out if you like drill and hard trap kind of stuff, grime, you know, fat music in general. And I love how he's combining uh, English and Polish at the same time. Some of his bars are in English, some of his bars are in Polish, and he even makes rhymes and bars between those two languages and it's super dope never content when i come with a content 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 get chicken in a box then start to your compa upload to your content you must prepare for that not hate complaints when i come with a content man they play my tunes on the whips on the blocks them okay now it's time for the drill here is my microphone i'm going to place it right here uh, and i'm going to record the drill sound Okay, now we're gonna pick the best sounds and I want to loop this, this uh, drill sound and just make a kind of an instrument out of it. So let's see what we can make with this. This one is the, the fastest one, the really aggressive sound. Here is the calm one and here is the most calm probably. And those clangs. Okay, let's pick the first one. Now we have to render it out just to get a WAV file. Okay, now we're gonna open Resamplomatic and, and we'll import those samples. Let's start from the first one. Okay, let's load up Neutron and let's try to make something more interesting than just drill spinning. Let's cut out the low end. Okay, maybe let's just take care of the high end too. Okay, now we can use the exciter to just boost some frequencies with, with an overdrive. I'll just add some grit. Here's 
here is how it sounds without exciter and here is, here is how it sounds with exciter. It's a little bit warmer. Okay, I cut out the high end a little bit more. Maybe let's add some transient shaper. So it's more snappy. Okay, now it's time to tune this drill. Uh, and how to do it? Just uh, take any VST instrument. Here is Resynth. It makes just some basic sounds like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the sampler. And now I hear the sampler and the drill. And now in Neutron, I've just boosted up the harmonic frequency that adds this uh, melodic uh, sound to, to this drill. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a perk out of this sound when the drill was stopping. We don't need to tune anything this time, we will just simply load the sample. It's a really, really nice perk, to be honest. Let's make it semitone shifted. That's just a great accent to uh, those drums. And of course, uh, this drill instrument we've made doesn't sound really good. It just sounds like a drill pitched up and pitched down. So uh, we will make a normal melody with some synthesizers uh, and the drill sound will be just a kind of spice. And you know, just for the sake of making a beat with a drill. Let's load Massive. Okay, and now let's uh, find a horn sound, maybe in X-Band, because I've re I remember X-Band had that kind of things. I mean, you know, uh, stab or horn hit. So we go to hits. That one is pretty nice. I will copy and paste the horn heads because I also remember that Sonevox Orchestral Companion had uh, that kind of sound. Let's just check it out. This was like uh, staccato, some, some, somewhere right here. Uh, ensemble brass staccato. Let's take a listen. It sounds uh, much more full with, with uh, those horns. I don't kind of like this synth right here. I, I want to change the sound. Maybe let's load up Serum uh, because I have more sounds I like in Serum than in Massive. Let's go to Bells. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, now let's, let's look for some choirs, for some pads. I don't really know yet. Uh, so let's start in expand just to give it a little bit more uh, of an atmosphere in the background just a little bit more you know uh, spacious kind of feel okay I've changed the chords so uh, the root melody goes like that It's like la na na na. Okay, and now I'm gonna load the trigger gate, and here in trigger gate, we'll just chop the choir up to fit the drill vibe a little bit more because those choirs are just, you know, long. A boring chords right now. Oh yeah. You know, let's 
throw some reverb on this drill sound. Okay, it's time for the 808s now, so let's just press some keys and see what comes out. Okay, now let me just quantize this bass line. Let's add some more fatness to this bass uh, with Neutron. Okay, maybe let's add some more percussion kind of things. Maybe like a backing snare, something that would just uh, do some crazy stuff in the background. Okay, I will just cut out the excess of these rims. Let's add a triangle. You gotta admit, as far as the drums are concerned, this beat is a straight banger. Yeah, I think we don't need anything more for this beat. The last thing I'm going to do to this beat is the arrangement, but I'm not going to show it in the vlog. If you would like me to make a video about arranging beats to make them more interesting, to make them more easy for rappers to just make a song with them out of the box without any change. Just let me know. If you think this beat is a banger, just leave a like. Uh, if you want more bangers, hit the subscribe button with all the notifications. And if you want to see more of me, as always, feel free to visit my Instagram and drop a follow. My name is Dominic, you've been watching Vazu Beats and keep the good vibes alive.